Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another vlog. And I'm a little bit more chipper because we came to Stone Mountain to hike this morning and we are coming down from the top now. So once I get up there and come start coming down, then I feel a lot better, feel a little bit more energized and I'm ready to get out of here. <laughs> so let's go home. Hey guys, Future Ashley here. I just wanted to stop in because I got some new pieces of cookware. I was gifted these pieces by our place. I got a chance to pick out the pieces that I wanted and I was really happy that they sent everything over. This is a collaboration between our place and Selena Gomez and the colors are really pretty. I got, I picked out Azul. It also comes in a Rosa shade, which is like a, a berry pink color, which is really pretty. This color is more like an electric blue really beautiful i like that these are really lightweight this pan and this pot replaces like 16 pieces of cookware you can do a lot with both of these which i thought was really cool i really love the fact that it has these pour spouts on the side so if you're frying in this uh, if you're making any sauces or anything like that you need to pour it out you can do that with less mess that's really nice and what i always loved about this pan which is why i really wanted to try it is that it has a little notch on the handle so you can just rest the um the spatula there while you're cooking so you don't have to worry about trying to find a place to put it down. I thought that was really nice. And the same with the pot, you it has notches on the back of the spoon, so that way you can rest it along the side as well, and then you can close it, close the lid, and it'll sit there. So that's really nice. And then I also got this knife trio, which comes with a paring knife, a chef's knife, and a serrated knife, which we're in need of actually. Our serrated knife is is done. <laughs> And I also got this cutting board, which is made out of walnut. And any of the, like, the wood accents in our house is walnut, so it matches really nicely. And I didn't even realize that this was walnut when I saw uh, all the pieces because I didn't even know this was gonna be involved, like in the in the set. So this is really nice. I'm excited about that. And it's like slanted, so like if you're cutting like steak or something, the sauce will like get trapped on the side. It won't like get all over the counter and everything. So that's really nice. And I really like these glasses. They're stackable. They're handmade and they're dyed with natural earth materials so everything is like non-toxic and really good and one thing i want to point out about th this this pan and this pot is that they are induction compatible and we have an induction cooktop and winston actually uses that one outside so when he fries fish or cook something where he really wants like a very stable temperature he'll cook it on the induction cooktop because we actually have a gas stove on the inside of the house so we'll be able to use this in the house and with the induction cooktop and i'm really excited to have like cookouts in the yard and just like you know make it really cute out there because you guys know we're fixing up the house and we have started with the outside of the house as well so i'm really looking forward to like setting setting everything up really cute and it's nice to have like these little pops of blue and i also got this set of plates they actually have a blue set as well if you want to have a matching set that goes with the pots and they have some other colors available online as well they also sent over this sponge it's made for scrubbing at the dishes so that way it keeps everything safe because the inside is a very slick non-stick uh, material so in order to keep it like that you don't want to use any harsh sponges or anything so they sent over a natural sponge which is going to be really good for cleaning so that's everything that I got from the new Our Place Selena Gomez collection. Huge thanks to Our Place for sending these pieces over. I'm excited to try everything out. And if you guys want to check out these pieces as well, I will have links to everything in the description box. So be sure to check there. Now let's jump back into the vlog. Hello, you guys. So you already saw that this morning I went to, I went hiking. We went to Stone Mountain and I'm tired. <laughs> Yesterday we cooked at home, went to make some fried fish and some festival and fried plantains. And I think I ate way too much festival. It was so good. It was so good and so light and fluffy. And that was probably the poor choice. And then it was probably a poor choice to eat so much of it and then go hiking the next day. So right now we just came from the mailbox. Um, I got my hat on. I actually gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with my hair because I have a lot of things to shoot this week and just to get done, let me put my seatbelt on. Okay, actually, I'm just going to check in with you guys in a second. It's Monday. We're going to run to Starbucks, have our meeting, and then we'll see what the day takes us because the day is turning already. <laughs>
we picked up this really tiny camera today. It's called a DJI, uh, DJI Action 2. It has a little tiny monitor, and this is the camera, so hopefully it'll make vlogging even easier. Look how tiny I that thought. is. Wow. Wow. This is the camera, and then it like... This is the monitor. It's one of them. It's a monitor slash gravity pack, so... Hey guys, so I am back home. So today was a long day, but it was a good day. The weather was beautiful. It was so beautiful outside today. So we decided after we had our meeting and ran a couple errands, we went to the movies and we saw Doctor Strange. And it was definitely strange. I really love the Marvel, Marvel movies. Like me and Winston really love Marvel, um, all the Marvel movies. So we were really excited to see it. And Doctor Strange is one of my favorite characters, but this one was really weird. It had like some zombie stuff in there with some, something like a horror movie. It was really weird, but the good parts were really good. So, and you know, you have to see the movies because they like stack on top of each other. So anyway, we saw that. And then we also stopped at Best Buy and picked up this super tiny camera. I'll probably show you guys tomorrow because um, after this, I just want to chill. I need to clean up a little bit. Tomorrow I have to film. Um, I got a lot of campaigns I have to complete and deliver in the next two weeks. So I'm gonna be pretty busy. But it was really um it was a really good day. Have you guys seen Doctor Strange? Let me know in the comments because I wanna know what you think about it too. If you're into the Marvel movies, of course. But um that's really it for me today, you guys. I am gonna actually open up a package that I got from Lulu's because I have a Lulu's campaign coming up, which I'm really excited about. You guys know we love Lulu. They have some really cute pieces. So stay tuned for that. That will probably come out before. No, this video will probably come out before that. So um, yeah. But anyway, I'll chat with you guys in a bit, probably tomorrow, because after this, I'm just chill for the rest of the night. Hey guys, so we are at the park. I was supposed to film today, to be honest. I got up early and everything. I was gonna film, but I just wasn't in the mood to film a sit down video and try and close. So we decided to come to the park and it was such a nice day. I wanted to bring Gizmo outside so he could get some exercise, a little fresh air and everything because soon it'll be so hot and the pavement will be way, way hot for him. So we won't be able to just casually stroll <laughs> when it's like 90 degrees outside, you know? And he gets tired pretty quickly, which is interesting because he always wants to go outside. But as soon as he gets outside, he starts huffing and puffing and he wants to sit down and just lay in the sun. So anyway, we came for a walk and this park is okay. We don't love it as far as like for him because the dog park that's here, I'm not crazy about it. It's nice for walking and exercising or whatever, but as far as for him to have a play area, I don't love it for that. So we're thinking about trying out the, um, well, we're not thinking about it. We're definitely gonna do it. Um, the Bark Park, they have like new locations popping up all over Atlanta, but they have one in Buckhead. I think there's one in Midtown. And so we're gonna check that out. You can go there, bring your dough, they can socialize. And then you can also have a drink. They have a bar. And I think sometimes they even have live music and things like that. So I think it'll be fun. And I think Gizmo will enjoy it even though he prefers humans to other dogs. But he'll have a lot of fun because we'll just be outside and he just likes to be outside. So anyway, we'll, we're gonna visit that and hopefully it goes well. Maybe we go sometime this week or early next week. I gotta check the weather because I don't want it to be like too hot so we could just like chill and hang out. But anyway, we're just gonna enjoy this walk and get a little vitamin D. Honestly, he's not the best on a leash, but he's not the worst either. But I got this cute leash from Zara. I showed you guys this leash before, but I think it might be too big for him. I can't return it though. It's too late. But I think it's cute. So what I'm going to do is let him wear it still. <laughs> I'm still going to let him wear it, but I'll try to find another one. But I like the actual like leash part. It's really nice with the harness. Come give him. But the harness is too big. guys today is a new day and I think the last clip you guys saw um, I was hiking so anyway today was a busy day I had a long like working day today um, I just finished recording a video probably like an hour or so ago so today was a busy day and tomorrow is gonna be a busy day too I have a few campaigns I'm trying to like you know get everything done 
And so now I'm actually feeling a little bit energized. So I want to go on Instagram live while I have the energy to do it because it is pretty late right now. But I do want to start doing, um, I want to go in live more often. It's just that by the end of the day, by the time I finish recording and everything, you know, life is going on. And speaking of life, I have some updates for you guys because we got started with the front patio. And today we're on like day two. And I'm just really excited to see the final result. The guys came in, they dug up, like, you know, they did their plans, laid out everything, how it was gonna be. And then they had to dig up a lot of the dirt to make it leveled. They took away the old pavement, first of all, they took away the old walkway, which was really awful. Oh my gosh, you guys. We knew how bad it was. We knew that the walkway was bad. We knew that like bugs were living under there. We knew that um, like little lizards, they would be going under there too. I don't know what they're called, lizards, geckos, whatever. We knew that they would go under there. And when we first moved here, a snake went across the walkway. I saw like a real slim, like a garden snake. It went across and I was like, oh my gosh, a snake. So we put down some snake away and the neighbors did the same. And so I didn't think anything else of it, but snake eggs were under there. Snake eggs were under there, can you believe that? I could not believe that. And they did not look old. They looked, when the guy like broke up the concrete and then he was lifting it up, there were like four or five snake eggs. They were really little and they looked, they did not look old and dried up. They looked moist, <laughs> okay? They looked kind of new. So I don't know when that happened because I only ever saw one snake. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know when that happened, but that was pretty crazy. I never saw like snake eggs up close before like that. So that was crazy. So clearly something had to be done. We knew that we had to get rid of that walkway. And it was ugly. It was all cracked up and ugly. It wasn't even done correctly. <sighs> it was a mess. So we finally got started with that. They broke it up. Um, they leveled everything out. Then they laid like the gravel or whatever they put down first, like that first layer. And then today they laid down the actual pavers and we did a herringbone style. And it has a slope and we're going to have like one step up and like, like a step up. It's gonna be sloped and then one step up to the door to get into the house. So I'm really excited to see the, final, the finished product because you know we did the little garden in the front and then we're gonna have the nice walkway. So it's definitely coming together. We still got a lot to do. We still have a lot to do. And we talked about the siding because I was kind of worried that once we have the pavers and then we want to redo the siding because that the siding of the house is pretty banged up too. But that's not on the schedule until sometime next year. But I guess it's good we're ahead of schedule because we got the HVAC done. <laughs> like I told you guys in the last vlog. So make sure you guys watch that vlog. But it's looking really good. I'm really excited to see how it's going to look. So I think they're either going to be finished tomorrow or maybe Monday. So we'll see. Um, but there's that. But now I'm going to go on Instagram Live. So, oh, and I got a new pair of shoes. So I'm going to show you guys. But I want to do my Instagram Live. So let's do that first. Everybody wave and say hey to the vlog. And look out for your names when the video drops. This video actually is going to be out tomorrow. Say hey vlog. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I just finished on Instagram Live. And I had a lot of fun with you guys. And I got a couple of show recommendations. And a couple of, um, well not a couple, but one recommendation actually for Gizmo. Because he has allergies and he's really itchy. So one of you guys recommended like an Alaskan oil. I wrote it down in my notes, but I'm going to go look it up. An Alaskan... Um, a wild Alaskan oil that I'm going to use for Gizmo because he's always licking his paws and he has allergies for sure. And he has like a little bit of dry skin. So that's going to be interesting. I want to check that out. And hopefully when the research shows that it'll be good for him and I'll try it. But anyway, the live was a lot of fun. We chatted about Ozark and all that. So thank you guys if you were able to join the live. Thank you for joining. I have fun chatting with you guys. I definitely have to do more lives. But um, yeah, I'm really sleepy now. It's getting late. Oh, but I wanted to show you guys my shoes. So, I picked up my very first pair of shoes. Now, this is honestly not going to be a surprise to you guys. If you watched my vlog um, where I went with Brittany from Pockets and Bowls, we went to the to Buckhead Village. We, we had lunch and then we went to Jimmy Choo and I tried on these shoes actually in tan. Now, I tried these shoes on in pink satin, and I already knew I loved them. The pink satin was absolutely gorgeous, and I really want those. But at the time, I was just like, I really don't need those. I really need um, a pair of black shoes. And the satin, for one, 
you know, satin shoes, they can be very, like, temperamental, you know? Like, if you get them wet or anything falls on them. Not to say, I mean, I wouldn't be wearing my satin shoes out in the rain, but you know what I mean? Like, satin is a very sensitive material. So, anyway, one, e one night I was just scrolling, and uh, I got an email from Guilt. Do you guys shop on Guilt? I've never actually purchased anything from Guilt, but I have been, like, a member for a really long time. And every once in a while, I'll get an email, and I'll check it out. But for the most part, I really haven't shopped there. But... I saw that they were they had like a bunch of Jimmy Choo pieces on the website. And I click on it and lo and behold, they had these. So I was just like, let me just go ahead and get them because they were like, after everything was said and done, I think they were like $300 cheaper than retail. These retail for $850. So once I saw them on Guilt, I'm like, let me just see. Let me just order them and see how I like it because they're like, they have like 30 day returns or whatever. So I got them, tried them on and I really like them. I think that I'm going to try them on a few more times just to see, just to be sure I really like them because I was so in love with the pink satin that... I was just not really wanting to get any other color. And then I also tried on that nude pair and I fell out of love with them. The nude pair wasn't, it just wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. So I was like, I don't even want the shoe anymore. But I love the satin one so much. So I'm like, let me just give the black pair a try because I'm really looking for a really good pair of patent leather black shoes. Patent leather is my favorite. You guys know how I feel about it. So stay tuned. I'm going to style these up in upcoming videos. And I think I might even take them for a spin. Like... The, the 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 thing that I have coming up soon, I'm thinking I could wear this with like a really cute satin dress that I'm gonna show you guys soon. You guys, I found the cutest satin dresses. Oh my gosh, they are so cute. The colors are everything. You guys are gonna love them. You're gonna love them. So stay tuned for that. That video is gonna come out. Um, I think next week or so. Anyway, just stay tuned. Make sure you guys have notifications turned on for my channel because you're going to love those satin dresses. But that's some sponsored content, so I can't show you guys now. But I'm really excited about those satin dresses. But yeah, so I got my first pair of shoes. You know, I'm going to wear them around the house for a little bit longer to make sure that I really love them. But I love patent leather. So this is a classic style. This is a forever style. They always have this style. And they, it's just a really good looking shoe. So I got to style them up and be certain about them. But I really like them. Look at that patent leather shine. It's just always been my favorite. So that is it for me, you guys. Tomorrow we have another early day. I think I want to start a new vlog tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then Monday. Um, but tomorrow I have to film some content. And then they're coming back for, I think it'll be day three now of the patio. I don't think they're going to be done tomorrow, though. It's actually been kind of, it hasn't been like super hot, but it, it's, that was a, that looked like a large project to me. So... Um, we'll see how far they get done. But stay tuned. You know, head to my Instagram stories in the meanwhile in between videos because I always share like little clips of whatever we're doing updating the house. So if you're interested in that, be sure to check me out on Instagram as well. And I'll share more like everyday life things in my Instagram story. But that is it for me, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And make sure you guys are subscribed. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? I would love to have you. And make sure you guys check me out on some of my other socials. Everything you need will be listed in the description box. And I'll also link, um, link to everything that I share in the video. I try to link like my outfits. If I share any new items with you guys, I'll link it in the description box. So make sure you guys check there. But if you have any questions, of course, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys again for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. Toodles. Be sure to check out my ebook. You guys, I got such a positive response from so many of you, and I thank you guys so much. I'm so happy you guys loved uh, my ebook where I shared with you guys everything that I have done to get to the point that I'm at right now. I get so many questions about how to be successful on YouTube, what I did, you know, any tips that I have to offer, and literally everything is in that guide. And I got so much good feedback from you guys about how valuable you feel that this guide is and it truly is so now i'm really excited to say that you guys can get the audio version of this ebook i know a lot of you might be very busy but you still want to learn how to succeed on youtube you want some tips and some guidance and i know that a lot of people are just really busy maybe you're a mom maybe you are only able to listen while you're like on the computer at work so this audio book is going to allow you to do that it's going to give you all the same information but now you can just listen and you don't have to sit in one place and read we're all very busy and I know we all are multitasking 
but you still want to be able to get the information. So the audiobook is now live. You guys check the description box and pick it up. And I would love to know you guys' feedback. It helps so much in me just like, you know, being able to share more with you guys and just know that you're able to receive the information. So definitely check the description box. I'm really excited for this and I cannot wait for you guys to check it out as well. Oh.